you've caught the, the bug or the cold that everyone else across the country has caught, you're not alone because I caught it too. <laughs> Sneezing my ass off. Man. Oh. It's awful. Ugh. I'm still trying to re I'm still recovering from it. I'm not back to normal. Um. <laughs> my lips are dry. My nose is dry. I'm still peeling hair. Gosh. Although you can't see it. I know it's nighttime. I've been using chapstick that the, uh, one of the managers suggested. My uh, nose, but uh, everything's dry. <clears throat> Aside from this, and um, in the main, I know it's their property, but I never understood why people open up their comic books and take pictures of the inside, destroying the comic book. Here's a great example. You know, it's like people don't understand the concepts of uh, comic book collecting, you know. And from the very beginning of the videos, if you look at my, one of my first, my second video, um, how you handle your comic books, um, you know, it's going to degrade the value more. I mean, unless you got a couple extra copies to read. Your comic book, right? Take pictures all you want, but if you're selling it, it's not going to be worth crap. Some people like to do that, though. I mean, even Marvel took, you know, uh, photos of its comic books to, you know, do for little cartoon films, which they did in 1966 to. One of those was Thor, and so I don't, you know, I mean, they got the originals, and so, uh, and Superman, and all that stuff, but, uh, I don't do it. I don't open the comic book up to take pictures or to scan it or anything else, you know. Uh, it just, you know, if you're, you're going to sell it or you're going to read it, you should have an extra copy to do that. Uh, that's my advice three copies at the most, you know, one for, one for selling, one for reading, and the other for putting away. Three. Two at, at, at the least. Why two? Because you want one for selling and one for collecting. And, you know, if you're a critic or you're a person who's picky about your comic books, like I am, look for flaws, printing flaws on the front and uh, the back and all this other stuff. Uh, I just got an issue of Incredible Hulk 262 from uh, my comic shop as well as uh, Incredible Hulk 241. I feel that my comic shop slighted me. They gave me a subscription issue of 262 you know, with that little diamond bottom left hand or the left hand corner uh, is a, a face of Spider-Man with no uh, barcode, no barcode. So it kind of pissed me off. So I wrote them about it and said, hey, you know what, this is what I ordered. And they didn't even apologize to me, so I feel very slightly. Um, if they were, you know, sitting the woman woman wrote back and said, oh, um, well, we just pick them out at random and send them out, you know, or something like, something to that effect, you know, and I thought, well, you know what, this shows that they're not doing anything really careful unless it's an older, really older, older issue, so, again, this is another X against, um, my comic shop, this is the last, uh, what are I going to do for them, 
because they don't deserve my, my business if they can't um, send me the proper comics in the proper condition and with comic bags. The 260 C2 subscription issue didn't come back with a, um, it didn't come with a comic bag and that kind of pissed me off. Here's the response they gave me. Um, we ask that you do not order the item if you prefer one version over the other, as we will not accept returns on logo variants. Uh, excuse me, didn't you post the picture as not a logo variant? And why didn't you send me it in a comic bag? The more I shuffle it around, you know, taking pictures of my comics or preparing them for CGC, uh, the more this one gets a little bit more damaged. And uh, they didn't tell me, you know, well, it did, actually it didn't. You know, the only reference to what grade it is in is in my inbox. Uh, let's check that. 262, very fine. So now, the more I shuffle it around inside the uh, my little storage area here for preparing for CGC and stuff like that, um, I have to get another issue. Thanks to them, because they won't replace it. You know, uh, they should do that, that replacement for free. You know, if you if they screw up, they should they should give me give me another issue. You know, and let me keep the item. Or you know, because I can, or or they should pay for the return. You know, it's not fair. So I feel like I've been slided by uh, 240, 241. I looked at 241, issue 241 of the Incredible Hulk, and it's the printing is cut across the Comics Code Authority stamp, and the, there's not a gap between the the, the, the Marvel Comics Group heading. Top, which you usually see. 204 came in at 8.0, while 241 was uh, at 9.0, which is good. Um, but uh, I didn't pull either one of them out of the bag. Uh, but 262 was fucked up, and 241 had some printing errors. So now I gotta get uh, a new issue of 241. And uh, hopefully it'll be 9.0. So, see, so, you know, I'm really picky about my comics, you know, so now I'm not going to even shop with them. Uh, I got a beautiful issue of 109, uh, two, uh, one of uh, two parts, uh, three part series with Kazar uh, that you can see on my Facebook page. Uh, beautiful issue. take it out of the bag, you know, these people, I mean, if they got, it's their property, yeah, but I don't do this. I don't take it out of the bag and take pictures of it. And in my second video that I posted here, you can go look at it. You're not supposed to take a, a issue that's, as a rule of thumb, you're not supposed to take an issue out of the bag and take pictures of it, you know. Some people like that. They want to see the interior. But as a rule, because it, it just devalues the comic more. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, unless you've got to check the inner pages, CGC's got to look at the inner pages. Um, I'm going to go with CGC, or I wasn't uh, against CGC, but now I'm not. I mean, you get more money out of it. Um, but uh, I'm looking for some good issues. And uh, starting out small, but uh, once I get on eBay next month, everything should go accordingly. Uh, 
doesn't make a, you know, make a sale. Uh, I'm not expecting to make sales right away, but um, we're, we're going to start the process next month. So uh, as a rule of thumb, don't take your, don't take pictures of the in, in inner pages of your uh, comic books, especially if you don't have more than one issue. Uh, don't scan them. <laughs> like the images that I just showed you, uh, because, you know, why ruin the comic book, you know, uh, later on, if they keep doing that kind of stuff, uh, it's going to have to go through a restoration process, and uh, I know there's hundreds of issues out there, but some of them, you know, if they're real rare, uh, just damages the 